Hey, this is Tony here with Salt Strong, and in this video, I want to talk about hooks, and more specifically, the types of hooks you would want to use when fishing inshore for snook, redfish, trout, tarpon, and even flounder. And there are two main types of hooks. There are circle hooks and J hooks. But first, I want to talk about the size differences. Now, there is a scale that tells you what size hook is what, and pretty much the middle of that scale is a one-aught hook and a number one hook. When you go from a one-aught to a number one, the hooks are getting smaller. As you go from a one to a one-aught, the hooks are getting bigger. Now, as you see here, I have a number four. This is a number four circle hook. As you can see, it's kind of small. And this is a four-aught circle hook, which is much bigger. So again, the four-aught, which is a number with a slash and then a zero at the end, these are gonna be your bigger hooks. Now, as these numbers get bigger, the hooks get bigger. And it's just the opposite with the hooks that have the uh, single number there. As a number gets bigger, these hooks get smaller. So if you have a number one hook, that hook is going to be um, a lot bigger than a number, let's say six hook or number seven hook. So it's just the opposite. Now another size variation in the hook will be the gauge of the hook. These are thin wire hooks. They are much thinner than your standard uh, circle hook or J hook. These are best for fishing um, with live bait that is very fragile, such as shrimp or small bait fish, because that thin wire uh, easily pinches into the uh, body of the shrimp or the bait fish and won't kill it. And also it won't weigh it down. So thin wire is a way to go when using uh, very fragile baits when fishing inshore, again, such as shrimp or those smaller bait fish, such as uh, thread fins or pogies or even small mullet. Now another difference that you will see in the size and shape of these hooks is whether they're offset or not. An offset hook, as you can see with this circle hook, it is offset. The point of the hook is offset to the shank of the hook. It's kind of curved there and not in line with it. With an inline hook, the point of the hook is directly in line with the shank of the hook. Now what these offset hooks are supposed to do is you're supposed to have better hookup ratios with this offset hook because it will basically hook into wherever that point hits on the fish. So the shank of the hook can pass by an area of the fish, but if it passes by, that point of the hook is sticking out, so you will hook that fish. Now this kind of defeats the purpose of a circle hook because uh, circle hooks are meant to uh, lip hook a fish. They're not meant to really hook the fish anywhere else, and you will most likely gut hook a fish with an offset circle hook. So if you're uh, big about con uh, conservation and not trying to harm the fish, I would go with an inline circle hook like so. As you can see, the point of that hook is in line with the shank of the hook. Now one last difference you might see in the shape and size of a hook is actually with the eye itself of the hook. As you can see, this is an offset eye, and this is made for uh, using a snell knot. A snell knot is where you wrap the line around uh, the uh, shank of the hook there and then the line comes up through the eye of the hook. As you can see in this picture here, this is actually um, a hook set up with a snell knot. So that's what you would uh, want that for. If you were to buy these hooks and tie directly to that knot, or to that eye rather, uh, what will happen is when you go to set the hook, it's going to pull that hook that way and it's just going to pull the hook right out of the fish's mouth. So definitely keep an eye on that and be careful about that. Now, one last thing about sizes and shapes of hooks is uh, not all companies are standard with their sizes of hooks. There isn't a standard across the board. So you might buy an owner hook that is a uh, number two. Then you might buy a Gamagatsu hook that's a number two, but they might have a bigger gap depending on which brand it is. Now with J hooks, there's a little bit of a uh, size difference, and that is in the size of the shank of the hook itself. As you can see, this is a long shank. A J hook and this is a shorter shank J hook. What these long shank hooks are more meant for are toothy critters such as uh, bluefish, kingfish, more of those pelagic type of fish that have uh, very sharp uh, cutting teeth uh, where you would use wire or anything like that as your leader. And what this extra long shank does, it acts as a wire leader basically. It keeps the fish's uh, teeth further away from your knot and further away from your line. So you have less of a chance of breaking that fish off. And these shorter shank hooks, better for redfish, snook, uh, trout, 
some of those species that don't have those cutting teeth like most of those offshore fish do. So inshore, you can pretty much get away with a short shank hook such as this. Now the biggest thing you have to understand about circle hooks and J hooks is whether you have to set the hook or not. With circle hooks, you don't have to set the hook. The fish just grabs the bait, runs off, and it hooks itself just by the pressure of pulling on the line uh, from the fish itself. With a J hook, you have to set the hook. If you don't set the hook, you run a chance of losing that fish, which you don't want to do. So um, this comes down to really what type of structure uh, with what type of hook you want to use. So if you're fishing the flats, open water, no structure, I like to go with the circle hook because you don't have to set the hook, the fish can run freely, and you don't have to worry about anything. If you're fishing near structure, such as docks, bridges, mangroves, uh, pilings, or anything like that, I like to go with the J hook because you have to set the hook. And with that being said, when you do set the hook, you're starting to already pull that fish away from the structure. So that's an advantage of using the J hook. It turns their head, it pulls those fish away from the structure. If you use a circle hook near structure, you try to set the hook, you're gonna pull the hook out of the fish's mouth. You're not gonna get a hook set. And when you let that fish grab the bait and run, they're probably gonna run into that structure and hide and possibly break you off. So just remember that, um, depending on what type of structure, will definitely depend on what type of hook you're gonna to wanna to use. So pretty much when rigging any type of these hooks for either live bait or cut bait, I like to use a loop knot attached to my leader to the hook. That loop knot allows for more freedom uh, for the bait to swim around, allows that hook uh, to move around a lot more freely. So I like to go with that loop knot when tying the hook to my leader. Now as far as what size hook for what type of conditions, you can really get away with using a number two up to a two aught a hook for pretty much any inshore species. This is a number two hook that I just showed you right here. This is the number two hook. It, when you look at it, it looks really small, but this will hook any size inshore fish. I can guarantee you that. And if you're using live bait, the smaller the hook, even better. Just make sure that hook point is sticking out so it grabs that fish's lip. Now, if you're using chunk bait or very large pieces of cut bait, I like to go with at least a number, uh, or rather a four-aught circle hook like so. And again, if you're fishing closer to that structure, go with a four-aught or even a five-aught uh, J-hook so you can pull those fish away from that structure. So that will wrap up this video on some tips for helping you select the right hook when fishing inshore. Now, if you're like me and you first walked into a sporting goods store and you were trying to find a hook uh, for the right conditions, there's so many hooks out there, so many different sizes, so many different shapes. Hopefully this video will help you narrow that selection down and you can better understand what you're looking at when you're looking at these hooks. So if you have any questions about this, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, if you want to catch more fish guaranteed in less time, take a look at our Salt Strong Insider Club at saltstrong.com forward slash insider. Until then, I'll see you on the next video.